When you're working with numbers on the iPad, it's very easy for you to add other types of content into your spreadsheet. I'm going to go up in the top right hand corner where you see the plus sign in the toolbar. I'm going to select that and I could go and I could select media and I'm going to select from my camera roll and here's an image of the Middletown Area School District Administrative Office sign. I could take one finger and I could hold it down and I can drag that around. I could also drag it from the handles to resize it. I could use two fingers to rotate it. And very similar if you're used to using pages in Keynote, I could go up to the Format Painter tool now because it's context specific and I could go in and I could adjust the style and I could change what my picture is going to look like. And I could also arrange it by flipping it and moving it front and back. So I'm just going to leave my picture there. Other things that I can add, I could go in and I can add a table. So as you see here on my spreadsheet, I already created one table, but maybe I want to put another table in and I want that table to be a checklist. So I will select this. And then once that is in, just like before, I can resize it. I can change the number of rows, number of columns, and I can move it to where I need it. I could also go in, I could add a chart because charts are a great way to present visual data. So I'm just going to go in and add a three-dimensional chart. And it says tap to add data to this chart. So I'm going to tap there. And it's going to ask me to select cells in any table to view this. So I'm going to go to where I have my table one. I put some information in here already. And I'm just going to tap and just drag it so that it knows what data I want. And it will make a nice graph for you. Now with this graph, I can pick this graph up and I can move it just by dragging my finger. You'll notice that there's the two little ovals with the arrows on it. I can drag that to three-dimensionally move my chart around to make it look more presentable. And then I can also go in and I can go in and I could customize this. If I tap it, it will give me the chance to edit my references. And I could go and I could cut, delete. I can lock it so that I don't accidentally move it. But I could also go up to the format tool. And I could go in and I could change the colors of it, I could customize it, I could go into some of the options, and I could change text size, labels, the depth, so I can make them look thicker. And I could change the shape of the columns to cylinder, I like them as rectangle. So it gives you some opportunity to go in and make some customizations to it. I could also go in and I could insert shapes. So I could take arrows, I can resize them change the thickness and thinness, rotate it. I could also go up to the format tool, I could change the color, and I can work with different styles and options dealing with borders and effects to it.